last Monday, I did four by 10 for a 12 kilo goblet squat and four by 10 for a 50 kilo core lift. They're the only two lower body exercises I did that day. And I was sore for four days, especially through my adductor magnus. La, la, la. Adductor magnus acts half as an adductor and half as your fourth or fifth hamstring in movements like sprinting. It depends who you ask when it comes to hamstrings. There's technically four. You've got your semi-membranosus, semi-tendinosus, and then you've got the two biceps femoris, short head and long head. So three, four, semantics. If you have weak or inactive glutes, adductor magnus is one of the first muscles to step in and pick up the extra load. This is called a compensatory pattern, where one muscle or joint picks up the slack for one next door that isn't quite doing its job. Examples of the seated row. The goal is to get the handlebars to your chest by pulling with your shoulder blades. If your shoulder blades or your upper back muscles are weak, what happens is the elbow flares and you end up curling with your bicep instead of retracting with your shoulder blade. So for me last week, my glutes were weaker relative to the rest of the rest of my body, meaning my adductors had to pick up the extra slack, leading to the extra doms, costing, costing me the rest of the week for my running training and my lifting. So today's plan, I'm gonna hit the same weights on my goblet squat, but this time only for three sets of eight. And then on core lift, I'm just going to go 30, 40, 40, three sets of eight as well. I'm still going to hit four sets of 10 for my upper though. Plus, I always hit three sets of 45 seconds for calf isos, just to keep the shin splints at bay. I really want to test my vertex and run my 400 baseline test on hopefully Wednesday, so no soreness today.